today is the beginning of Saraswati Puja. For two more days we will be celebrating Saraswati. Mm. Sometimes people might wonder, are there many gods huh, that we worship for different purposes? Actually, there is only one God. But we expect that one God to come in various forms to bless us with various boons and gifts. It's almost like one and the same person when he goes to the office, he puts on an official dress, becomes an officer. When he goes to the tennis court, he puts on a different costume, becomes a tennis champ. When he comes home, he is different. When he goes to the beach, he wears differently. So the person is the same, but according to the occasion, he comes with new costumes, appears differently. Because God has many, many attributes. Though in the higher sense, God is above all the attributes, if God doesn't come with the attributes, it's of no use to us. For us to imbibe those qualities, God has to express itself in many forms, with many attributes. That's why in the masculine state, there are three gods, according to the Hindu faith, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva, or Rudra. But the people who adore the motherhood of God would say, what could even Brahma, Vishnu and Dudra could do without the power behind the concerts? So there you give the maximum credit to the energy behind even the God hits. In a way, the entire creation expresses itself as the motherhood. That's the reason why when we look at the nature, we say mother nature, mother tongue, mother country, Everything, mother, mother, mother. God as the essence could be called male or purusha. But when it expresses itself with many attributes, it gets different names. Particularly in this Navaratri celebration, 
we worship the energy in three different forms. Navaratri means nine nights, specially dedicated to worship the Shakti or the energy or the mother aspect of God. It's divided into three parts, three nights each. The first night we have celebrated the worship of Mother in the form of Durga. Second night in the form of Mahalakshmi. And this the beginning of the third quarter. The first of the three nights, the last three nights, as Saraswati, goddess of wisdom. Durga is mainly worshipped to remove all the darkness in life, all the impediments in life, all the evil tendencies in us. It's almost like clearing the ground before you sow some seeds. Remove all the thorns, bushes, stones, weeds. Prepare the ground. You may call it destruction. But the moment we hear the name destruction, we go to the extreme and say, is she destroying everything? No. Destruction is preparation. If you want to construct something before the construction brings begins, there is destruction. Level the land. If you want a basement, dig hole. And that's what Mother Durga does. She prepares our heart, our life, by removing all the impediments, all the weeds, all the stones, all the thorns. After Mother Durga, the same goddess comes as Mother Lakshmi, goddess of wealth, not necessarily money. All the good things that we could enjoy in life. Normally, Mahalakshmi is worshipped to be successful in business, to make a lot of money. But other nice things also goes with that. That's Mahalakshmi's work. Then the third night, third part, Saraswati, goddess of wisdom. Why? Because You made yourself smart, intelligent, acquired a lot of wealth, name, fame, power, position. It's all Mother Goddess Lakshmi's gift. But if you do not know how to use them, if you don't have the wisdom to use them properly, all those things will, instead of bringing benefit, could bring harm to you.
that we see in the present day world very well. All the knowledge, all the learning, all the acquisitions, power, name, fame, they are all used for selfish reasons. Pay knowledge to create energy from the very nature. Unfortunately, we convert all that into destructive weapons. With money, we use destructive things. With knowledge, we do selfish things. Even though they are really gifts of Goddess of Wealth, Mother Lakshmi, if we do not know how to use it, they will literally destroy us. Look at our own country. We have everything, materially, All the wealth, all the richness, all the capabilities. But are we using it for the benefit of the entire creation? Or we are using it for our own selfish reasons? That's where Mother Lakshmi, Mother Saraswati comes in. She has to help us to get the proper understanding, become wise, to use all those things for the benefit of everybody and everything. We should take care of the very nature, the air, water, the ground, that we live in. It's all being polluted because we didn't have the blessings of Mother Saraswati. You may say learning is Saraswati. Yes, it's the very same learning that creates all the problems also. We learn to do things wrongly. We are using our book knowledge for selfish reasons. That won't be called Saraswati. The blessings of Saraswati should make us raise above the selfishness. Think in terms of the entire creation not only humanity, the entire nature should be benefited by our learning. That's where Saraswati Puja is very, very important. And of course, Puja is just a ritual. Our worship should not stop with mere rituals alone. Rituals are reminders. Navaratri is only nine nights. But these are reminders for us to shape our own life. How to utilize the God's gifts properly. And if we could gain that wisdom and use our learning and knowledge for the welfare of the entire nature, the result is success. Success becomes ours. 
success to everybody, not only to one group of people, success to the entire creation. And that's celebrated as the tenth day, Vijaya Dasami. Vijaya Dasami, victorious tenth day. When could we become victorious? Only after observing all these things and acquiring these qualities, we become victorious. So the tenth day we will be celebrating Vijaya Dasami. As you are all familiar with, on the Vijaya Dasami, Dasami day, we just go around everywhere. The ground is blessed, the factory, the workshop is blessed, the tools blessed, your typewriter is blessed, your office is blessed, your pencil and pen blessed. Everything that you use in your day-to-day -day life is blessed. So that they will be used for good purpose, to bring good to one and all. And remember that one and all includes you too. Instead of saying, only me should get all the benefit. If you say, let everybody get it, you are also part of it. So that is why at least once a year, to remind us again these important things in our life, we celebrate Navaratri. But it need not be only a Hindu ritual. We celebrate all the festivities. In a way, all the festivities have this common goal. To make us better people, to raise above our, above our selfishness, and to be useful inhabitants in this earth. and to serve one and all equally. To renounce our little ego and to know that we are here only to serve. Service is the motto. And that's what we see in the entire creation. Everything else exists to serve others. Nothing in this nature exists just for themselves. Rain, water serves us, air serves us, sunlight serves us. Sun doesn't shine just for himself. So service, sacrificing one's own selfishness, seems to be the law of nature. And human beings should not forget that. And it comes to that only human beings seem to have forgotten that. Probably God, I don't know, I feel like saying made a mistake <laughs> in giving us that freedom. I think one of the saint, Alvar, or somebody said, yes, if I have even become a stone, I would be lying in front of the altar so that people can step on me and do the service. If the stone serves, the tree serves, 
Lord, why did you make me into a human being? And gave me the gift of forgetfulness. Is that your Leela? Is that your play? The devotee questions God. But of course, if we are not given that freedom, and if we are just under the control of God or the nature, we won't enjoy that life. We just do it instinctively. As we are told, we do. That's all. There's no joy in life. So, he gives you the freedom and it doesn't matter even if you forget. Okay, forget, make wrong things, do wrong things, go through the suffering, and then wake up and learn the lesson from your suffering. Then one day you'll say, I learned my lesson. That is the probably reason why God gave us the freedom. So that you can earn the wisdom yourself instead of somebody giving you. Then you will enjoy the greatness of it. You will be more happy that way. So here we are. Still in the process of learning. Many a times we make mistakes. But the lessons stay too long. We forget that also. Then do the same mistake again and again and again. But still we don't have to lose hope. One day, I don't know which day, one day we are all going to be wise people. And the nature, our God, waits for that day. So let us keep this truth in mind. What has to happen in my life? Otherwise, all these things become just mere rituals. You yeah, have done, done it. The puja, nice, beautiful, looks nice. Afterwards, you go away. No. It should happen in our life daily, daily. Durga puja, Lakshmi puja, Saraswati puja should happen within your heart every day. Only then we can grow into beautiful beings. So let all the gods, goddesses, sages and saints bless us to hasten us towards that goal. so that we can enjoy real peace, supreme peace and bliss.